Hey tribe, hope you're doing well this morning. You should be sore. You should be real sore. I'm real sore. This week's workouts have been rough. I just encourage you to finish this week strong. It's Friday. Let's get that last workout of the weekend today. In today's message, I'm going to incorporate a little bit of my own personal faith. You may or may not have noticed, but the title of my blog is Faith in Fitness. The first meaning is just an urge to have faith in the fact that if you eat properly and exercise consistently, you're going to be fit. You just got to commit to those things. Secondly, and most important to me, is throughout my own personal spiritual journey, I've learned some things that I think directly apply to fitness. So me and Leah were actually watching a movie last weekend, and it was a really interesting movie, and they showed this scene where this lady was in front of a mirror, and she kind of looked away, and the message was, reject vanity. It was a really simple message, but it was pretty profound for me and Leah. Most everyone that I've ever trained or been around, including other trainers, struggle a little bit with vanity in relation to fitness. Especially when you start to see a lot of progress and you start to see your body changing. It's easy to start looking in the mirror a lot more and kind of being a little bit too proud of what you're seeing in the mirror. So I actually just googled the definition of vanity and here's how it reads. Excessive pride in one's appearance, qualities, abilities, achievements. Key word there, excessive. Don't get me wrong here gang, I definitely think you should be proud of the changes that you're making in your own body. You should feel good about that. You should feel good about improving and getting better. Absolutely. But guys, you just got to be careful because if you're not careful, you can start to worship the creation instead of the creator. Before I accepted Christ about six years ago, I had struggled with this big time. This was a big, big struggle for me. After receiving Christ, I've experienced a lot of freedom in this area. I still struggle with it from time to time, but I have seen a lot of freedom so pretty simple message today, guys. Be proud of your own achievements and your own personal development, but you got to be careful not to have excessive pride in your own appearance, achievements, or development. Hey, Walker, tell them, bro. Get your